It is the most wonderful time of the year today. <laughs> it is because we are going to be celebrating today the 12 days of Raquel December holiday giveaway. And we are so excited to have you joining us because we are going to be giving away 12 Raquel Welch wigs. Beautiful, stunning styles, okay? So get your phones, get on your Facebook page and start watching. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. Today, you're gonna be able to enter because it's the first day, it's December 1st. So all you have to do today is check out Raquel Welch Wigs on Facebook or Instagram and enter to win. Just follow the prompts, you'll be asked some questions and you'll automatically be entered. So just so you know, the results and the winner will be given out the following day. But it's not just today, it's going to be all month. As I said, 12 beautiful, luxurious Raquel Welch Wigs all at your disposal. So let's see how we doing here today. Everybody joining us? Oh, look at that. People are coming on and I'm so excited to see everybody. We have a great show for you guys today. We have our Raquel Welch co-stars. We have some of your favorite beauty bloggers out there who are going to be joining us today. And so this is really a great time to be here. So I also have a little special surprise. Um, well, I want to say hi to Ree, first of all. I want to say hi to Jamie. Hi, Linda. Hi, Beth. I have a little surprise for you guys. You know, for a long time, I like to do my happy hours with my favorite consortium, my partner in crime, Mr. Kyle Neath, who is always joining us from London, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited to introduce you to, in the flesh, in my very own living room, all the way from London, America's favorite Welshman, Mr. Kyle Neath. Kyle, <laughs> welcome, Wait, my I'm here, Frank. Finally, finally, you made it to the United States. Hi, okay. everybody. Just going to say, it's only taken me five years to get to you and to get to hear you. I know. How fantastic to join you live. I know. And you know what? We have been waiting how long to have a cocktail together. Absolutely. Today I've you got one made it's, up. It's tonight. It's anyway, tonight. guys, so great to be here. As you know, I've been designing for the company for a very long time, but I'm actually now with Frank, with Lawrence, with Teresa. So I've joined the team. So from now on in, I don't know. I'm going to be with you guys. So hi, everybody who's watching. Hi, everyone. Get your cocktails ready because we have a lot of wigs to show you today. Uh -huh. Guess what I'm making you? I'll give myself one guess. <laughs> it's not um, lemonade in there, no? No. No. It's my all-time favorite. You know I always do a martini. So here's your martini. Oh, cheers, Frank. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. And cheers to all of you who are joining us yep. for, as I said, a great show. We are going to be showing you all 12 of the wigs that will be featured this month. And Kyle's going to be showing him on his mannequin. I have a mannequin. We'll be talking construction. So we've got a lot of information. And of course, our beautiful, lovely girls who are joining us today. So yeah. cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Um, happy holidays. Yeah, so excited about this. So is everybody in Europe, by the way. We're going to have people watching from, of yes. course, London, all yes. across Europe as well. It's late there. So whoever's joining <laughs> from Europe... Um, thanks for tuning in. Indeed. And a special cheers to Miss Jackie Charles. Oh, yeah. That's my mom. Mm -hmm. Hi, mom. She's in Portugal at the moment. Mm -hmm. Anyway, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Again. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Ready. You guys. So fun. Okay. Kyle, you get to come. You, this is your first show. It's like one of the best ones here in the States because we get to give so many wonderful gifts away on behalf of Hair You Wear, on behalf of Raquel Welch Wigs. You guys, this is something you don't want to miss. You want to be involved in this all month because there's so much here for I mean, you. unbelievable. I mean, what a giveaway. No, oh, what a giveaway. I mean, you got the chance to get all these amazing wigs. There are top selling wigs, by yeah. the way. And they're a mixture right across the board of Truth to Life Fiber, Vibralites, Human Hair. I mean, we've yeah. got such a show. Oh my God. And they're everybody's favorites. And we can't wait to get you comments. <laughs> That's right. So, all right, let's go. Without further ado, I want to present to you the first wig that we're doing, which is today, okay? We're, it's like it's December 1st, right? Uh -huh. So this one is launching today. You have an opportunity to uh, sign up. Again, we said before, Raquel Welch Wigs on Facebook or Instagram. Sign up, and the first one is going to be Watch Me Wow. And who is going to be joining us in Watch Me Wow live is... Miss Sarah. I know one you of you guys might know Miss Sarah. Just yeah, I call girls out Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels. I know. 
Hi, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Hi, boys. How are you? How are you doing, my love? I am doing fabulous. It's good to see you guys in the same room together. I know. I know. It feels good, right? Yeah. Huh? And it's oh, good we got to cheers you. that to you coming to America. Yes, Welcome. Cheers. We're going to be doing a lot of toasting. Wouldn't it be? Oh, we got to take a And then, Sarah, how are you feeling? Just go and explain. It's amazing that Sarah made it today because you've been through the walls a little bit, my love. Yeah. Yeah, I had uh, hand surgery on Monday and just got my dressings off this morning. So I am here to tell you, if you do not think wigs are amazing, I would not have my hair styled if it was up to this <laughs> hand, let me tell you. So uh, you can right? do it you didn't have to do your one hair. hand. That's right. I did my makeup left-handed today, so you just have to bear with me. So. You look fabulous. You look you amazing, fabulous. my love. And thank you for joining us. You guys, you can find Sarah on uh, at the Atomic Blonde Co., all day, every day. So, <laughs> so, um, Wouldn't man, miss it. mannequin, I'm going to get mine and right. get yours. All right. Give us a sec, Sarah. So, no, you are good. Oh, I'm excited to see this in other colors because this is the only one that I have, I have seen is, is what I've had. So, well, yeah, I am. that's the joy of this is we're going to be able to show you guys some different colors because Kyle's going to have a color and I'm going to have a color and you're going to be in a color. So, the first one, you guys, that we're going to be showing is the Watch Me Wow. And I'm going to show you the construction on this really quick. Um, mm. I'll speak to that. So Watch Me Wow is made of Vibrolite fiber, right? Uh, the construction on this is ear to ear lace front. Can you guys all see that? And then we have a wefted top with a little bit of a mono crown. So it gives you a nice little parting area into the back that looks very natural, plus the lace front, which you can sweep it away if you so desire. And then we have this on the memory cap three, which as you know, stretches, but also has that silicone grip to give you a little bit of hold on it. Um, overall, the style is kind of like a, like a clavicle mid-length, I would say, um, mm -hmm. with just a light fringe. So it just falls softly along the face. You can see how Sarah has it. Um, and I'm showing this today in the chestnut, which is the R10. Yeah, and mine is, uh, it's the SS. And if you've never seen a Raquel World show before, SS means shadow shade. So what we do, yes. we actually gave our wigs, look at that, smudged roots, regrowth, ombre color. So this is the SS golden wheat. It's a beautiful sort of golden warm ash blonde, oh, seven to 11 shades for every single colorway. And Watch Me Wow is in a Vibralite fiber. Yeah, yeah. It's a sweet little wig. I like, I just kind of like that it's very easy to wear. It's not like too much. I mean, and you know, like, especially in the color you're wearing, Sarah, which color are you wearing? So this is SS cream. So just like what Kyle has, you can see it's got a little bit of the rooted look, which I yeah. personally love. Yeah. I think it is just amazing. Um, so I, I, you know, this is my first time wearing this literally out of the box. Right. Um, I did not even cut the lace. So the lace is what it looks like out of the box. I didn't even trim that um, because I, I think sometimes we we style them, which is great because we want to see how they can be different. But for this one, I thought it would just be fun to pull it right out. And I haven't even put a comb through it. So yeah, are you serious? Yeah, it I, I haven't even put a comb. Yeah, yep. well, that was pretty darn good, girl, for not putting a comb through it. It's, it's great, Sarah. And it's good that the first time that you've tried, this is definitely one that I think you would wear again. Yeah. I oh, yeah. love this wig. Do you know there's something very special about this wig for what me? Is this is one of the first ones that I came over and helped you, Lawrence, and Teresa design. Oh. This is one of the first is ones. That the, I don't remember yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So wrong. So wrong. That is the best. <laughs> I, I love this. Basically, it's a great natural style because I yeah. love all the layering around the face. And because it's um, it's fully wefted, but it's got some features, it's got the lace front. So if you wear a bang, it looks great yeah. with a bang. Yes. But with the way we styled it on Raquel is we took the bang away, if you remember. Yes. So you can turn it into so many different looks. Yeah, and you know the, the fringe is really nice because you know you don't have to cut it in because mm -hmm. you know especially with the Vibrolite fiber, people tend to tell me that they like the Vibrolite fiber because they like the, the shine and the gloss in it. It's not too glossy, but it's just enough to make you have healthy hair. Absolutely. And the nice thing about this is you know you you could steam it, but you really don't have to. These bangs mm -hmm. are just perfect. You don't have to trim them or do anything to them. So I mean I could just see like you know Sarah that just 
little side sweep like you have it is just wonderful. Well, and I didn't put any heat, um, which I love because I do think heat, even though they're heat friendly, um, can change a little bit over time how long the wig, in my opinion, lasts, right? The more you do to it, um, how you treat it. Um, but what I love, because I actually have a day job, like a lot of people do, and some wigs are beautiful, but I'm constantly moving them out of my face so that I can work and I can see and type. And as you can see, this is exactly how it came out of the box. And I wear glasses on uh, when I'm on the computer and look at how nicely it goes around my glasses without making that weird, you know how it sometimes the wig yeah. kind of, it sticks out um, uh, and right. jets out. It looks so natural with just kind of the professional look. Yeah, and I love yeah. the layering. And this is how we designed it, if you remember. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes if you like a wig with heavy bangs, you're stuck mm -hmm. with heavy bangs. But sometimes yeah. if you don't want the bang, all right. you've got to do, we designed it with enough hair so you can take it up into the hairline. And then you've got it sort of a one length looking yeah. bob, which Absolutely. is cool. What do you think of our new mannequins too as well, girls? <laughs> <laughs> A Christmas present. It is. That's what we get for the new man again. Well, and you know me, I can't come without accessories. And so I've not oh. tried on anything with this, but I thought it might be fun to put on a hat and see yeah. maybe how a little bit of a hat looks with this because it's just hey. such a perfect length for having well, a little bit of a <laughs> I'd see now you get to see all those layers. Yeah, I think once again with this wig, if you've never seen it before, you're thinking about a longer wig. My mother has this wig, my mother's in her 70s, you won't mind me saying. I think it could be 17, 70 to wear yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Um, and most women want longer hair, suits most women, hey Frank, because of the layering for sure. Yeah, for sure. Great, love it. Well, thank you, Sarah, for showing us. Watch me while wow, in the at uh, mine okay. is SS Cream. SS Cream. Beautiful. I'm SS showing Cream. Watch Me Wow in the Chestnut, which is the R10. Yeah, and I've got the SS, remember Shadow Shade, and it's Golden Wheat. And Golden Wheat is one of our best selling blondes. It's really well. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys, enter for this. This is today. All you have to do is go to Raquel Welch Wigs on Facebook or Instagram and just follow the prompts for entering, and you could win one of these and take it home. So, Great, great. Thank you, Sarah, darling. See you in a minute. We'll see you in yes. a <laughs> so you guys, watch me wow, as I said. The next one uh -huh. is, what is the next one? It's a winner. Isn't it's it? a winner. It's a winner. It's a winner. Winner by name, winner by nature. Do you know how many times <laughs> people have said to us, did you realize by calling yes. it winner? God, I mean, I don't know why Lawrence called it winner, but he chose the right It was a name. good name because it's you know perfect, I mean? right? right? Okay. So winner is a short little crop. It's done very well for us. It's a really a fan favorite. Like right? women love this because it's just easy to wear. Uh, it's a no brainer. It just always lays beautifully. And I am showing winner in the glazed vanilla. Okay. So you're going to see Kyle showing it in the silver, silver mist. mist. Yeah. So let's hold these up together because a lot of times on camera, they look the same. Yeah, that's great. But you can see this is that really cool, like sterling color, yeah, right? Beautiful. And this has that beige, ultralight beige. Blonde. Yeah. I mean, they're great transitional colors. Yeah. You know. The reason why we got them such the same is I take this on British television. It's the best selling style all over the world. I know. It's never come off the top slot in the Raquel Welsh range. It's the ultimate pixie yeah. cut. But this gray is my top selling color, mm -hmm. and this is my best selling color. Blonde. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So, winner, let me tell you construction winner. Well, Kyle, you do your little demo on it. Uh -huh. I have just the original winner here. And so, the original winner was released like so. It's a fully wefted wig. So, you got a great price point on this. You can't deny that. It has a contoured velvet front, so it's not going to be scratchy on the forehead. And then you have the memory cap two, which stretches beautifully to accommodate many different head shapes. Um, and then you have the um, the open ear tabs. Now, winner comes in so many different versions. Are you, is that is that for me or for the mannequin? Oh, sorry, <laughs> straight in the arm. I'm a jealous friend. I want to come and do the show for yourself. Hey. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so anyway. Winner comes in an elite version, which is fully hand tied. It comes with bells and whistles. So there's several versions of winner, which we have provided to suit every customer's needs. Whether you want a little bit more freedom to style it the way you want, or whether you want to uh, just wear it out of the box, lots of options on winner. 
And um, I just think that like what's made winter so special is that like this is I put no product in this. It is just, it's just I box like this, and just with my hands I've done. I don't think we have to do any explaining. I think if you've got a wig shop out there, a wig mm -hmm. salon. I bet you any money this is in your top selling style. I'm sure. I, it's the best selling style in Europe. Um, it is such an amazing pixie cut. And believe it or not, I have done one hour <laughs> live shopping channels just on this wig. You can turn it into so many different you looks. Can. This is the fabulous silver grey. Now I've used a little bit of our, um, this is our uh, sort of like conditioning spray. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like a water spray and I've just spritzed it and run my hands through it and look how much volume you can create yeah. just with this one wig. Yes. And oh. you know, you guys are in for a treat because we have someone very special to be modeling this winter wig today. Yes. Many of you may know Alexis from It's Alexis. Come on, Alexis. Hi, darling. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Frank. Hi, darling. Wow, look at you with that short hair. How gorgeous. Stunning, stunning, stunning. What Such I got an elegant wig. What color yeah. are you wearing that in, Alexis? I have dark chocolate. Ooh, dark yes. chocolate. That's a beautiful color. It's stunning on you. It's such a look at Thank the you. classic shape, right? I mean, it's uh, well. I mean, it just brings out the cheekbones. The nape is just the perfect length. And again, I think that's what's made this so such a popular style. Oh, beautiful! I mean, Alexis, you love your long wigs. If you if you want to see <laughs> yes. the Alexis, one of my idols in putting hair up. Well, wigs, she's my favorite. But look at look at this in the short style gun. I mean, it's such, it can look so contemporary Absolutely. and modern. Absolutely. Because it's just sleek down and yeah. short. It looks stunning. Yeah. My yeah. favorite thing about this is uh -huh. the nape. It's so beautiful. It looks so natural and just so yeah. wispy and nice and light down here. You know, it is. And you know what, Alexis? I mean, just seeing it on you really brings it to life in a different way than the mannequins could. But I got to say, you know, when this style was first launched, uh -huh. right? I mean, this is this has been years. It's been, I just say, even be like 15 years. This kind of, it's so classic and so timeless that it's just stood the test of time. It's never moved off the top slot of yeah. selling wigs. Yeah. I think it was Lawrence. We said talking about Lawrence. We talked Lawrence Bate is the head designer here at Hair Wear and with, with Teresa. And I think this can't be far off yeah. when, the, when the Raquel Welsh brand was launched. I'll ask Lawrence later, but this is one of the oldest wigs in the collection yeah. and it's still one of the best selling wigs. It is, it uh -huh. is. So it, you is it really is a timeless look. Yep, it is. It totally is. Teresa, hello. Hello. Is that our Teresa? Teresa Stasio Majore. Oh. Stasio. Hi, Teresa. Norma Dolan. Norma. Norma, Norma I'm here, Norma. At last. <laughs> Jackie Ireland, how are you? She asked us, watch me while he's friendly. That was the one we showed before. No, no. that is viable life. That is viable life. Yeah. Deanna's here. Renee is here. Oh my God, Lynette is here. I mean, Hi, how everyone. nice. We are so blessed to have all of you joining us today. Yeah. So, yeah, I love how you're doing that, Alexis. Just kind of twisting it around a little bit and just kind of matting it like in a like a boy cut almost. Yeah, so sweet. Yeah. But if you're a if you're just tuning in and you're thinking of opening a wig business and you want to get involved with us at Hair You Wear, I will guarantee if you do not stock this yeah. in your shop. It's the wrong move. Yeah. So yeah, I it's agree. Gonna, the old time. You gotta have winner in your collection. Yeah. Yeah. She's stunning. Yeah. Well, Miss Alexis, thank you very much for showing us winner. We're of gonna course. be seeing you in a little bit and in some other styles, which I'm very excited about too. So you guys hang on. Alexis will be back and we're gonna take you to our next one. Remember, Rock Hell Welch Wigs, Facebook or Instagram. Go on and enter to win. This is the second one we'll be launching in the month, and you'll be entered. You'll be able to enter to win. Yeah, so, brilliant. What deal. do you think? You've got to get involved. Follow us. Friend us on Instagram. Yeah. Friend, friend us on um, Facebook. We are here. We can answer all your questions and a chance of winning one of these gorgeous wins. Absolutely. So what's Absolutely. next, my friend? Okay, our next one is. A, a beautiful staple too. They yeah. really well. And I know you know this too. Yes. The next one we're going to be looking at is Editor's Pick. Wow. In the Rock Hell Watch collection. So let's have a look at Editor's Pick. Let me grab this out. So I have to say as well, mm -hmm. she, our Editor's Pick is, she's been around a while, but she's relatively new. 
And when we were yeah. looking as designers, we have a big design um, division. We're always out fashion around the world looking at fashions. When this beach wave came in, yes, we designed this bob, and it has gone crazy for yeah. us. And Editor's pick has been worn by so many people, even celebrities. You wouldn't even know because they just slightly modified yeah. the styling on it, and that's what makes it great. It is true to life, heat friendly fiber. Okay, this is. I promise you, right out of the box, I've done nothing to this. But let's talk about the construction. Well, Mr. Kyle, that's oh, all. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. That you got the that's the ruby red. Yeah, that right? yeah, gorgeous. Um, okay, editor's pick. Here we are. Extended lace, ear to ear, right? Beautiful. So you can wear it swept up a little bit if you want. Wear it down. Uh, we have a mono area, part mono area. And then what we did is we wefted the back to give it some fullness and some volume. So if you like a little bit of fullness in the crown, you're going to love this. Um, we also have this on the memory cap too, velvet ear tabs and nape. So very comfortable fit, accommodates very many different uh, head sizes. And I am showing it, this color that we're looking at now is the editor's pick in the SS Ice Latte Macchiato, which is RL 1723 SS. What you got there? I have got uh, the deepest ruby. Look at this. Look, it's really matches. This if you lean oh, in, yeah. that's a photo mode. <laughs> yes. uh, right three degrees. Let me put this in here. Go for it. I just want to show you. Look at this color, guys. Now, what me and Frank um we decided to do was not to pre-style any of these wigs. Yeah. Just in case you might have just lost your hair, might have been told you've got to a, a wear a wig, yeah. and you're thinking, I couldn't do this, I couldn't style it. These are all out of the box. The only difference is with mine is I've run a brush through it, yes. Frank. So look, I've brushed out the tight curl, yes. and you get this very loose, romantic wave with this. Correct. Yeah. And I have this left, I have not brushed it out, but just a little bit of brushing softens it. This is the actual curl pattern that you will receive it in out of the box, okay? So I like the idea that we were able to show everybody like how that is, like a little comparison. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh, of course. So, yeah. Yeah, what I mean, we get a lot of, crit not criticism, but some people have said to us, well, yeah, well, the wigs were go are gonna look fabulous. Frank is one of the best hairdressers in America. Oh, aren't you yes, sweet? Yes, you are. <laughs> and colorist. Oh, so Frank can make it look fabulous. I've been working with wigs for 30 years, so has Lawrence, so has Teresa. Everything's like, yeah, you're going to make them look good. But seriously, guys, they're just out of the box. Yes. Because for me, the whole point of wearing a wig is for convenience. Yeah, right? 100%. Uh -huh. So if you are looking at Editor's Pick, maybe you've, you've thought about it in the past, but you're not quite sure. One of the things that I love about Editor's Pick that separates this from a lot of other wavy wigs is there is just a slight underbang here. You can actually blend this in so it doesn't look like a bang or you can wear it swept away and just pull out a few pieces. So it's just got a very subtle uh, finish to it. I think it just kind of complements the face really well. And we have a lovely girl who's gonna be joining us to show us editor's pick. We have our darling Kristen, and she is at Kristen. Kristen, wait, wait. Christina. Christina Moore. <laughs> Christina. You know, my yeah, parents Christina. really messed it up when they spelled my name so differently because it gets butchered every single time. But uh -huh. Just spelled differently. Christina. I, I don't remember the Christina part. Christine. How are you, Christina? I'm, I'm so good. good. Because we've never actually done a no. show together. Yeah. No, this is, I'm the newbie on the block. So yeah. I'm really excited to join you guys. And a lovely, gorgeous newbie we're so happy to have with us. <laughs> Thank block. you. And I'm actually wearing shaded ice latte macchiato, which is what you're showing on your mannequin. Yes. This is my absolute favorite Raquel Welch color, hands down. Absolutely love it. It's so it's beautiful. A color. It's one of our like our cool tones, and it is very you know it's very uh, muted. And you know it's kind of funny because I'm so glad you're wearing it, Christina, because you're you're showing it in your lighting, right? Which I believe you have, you have some natural light going on there, don't you? Or is that it is, is that pitch dark? I have a ring light and a mirror light. All right, so you guys can see what that looks like on Christina and what looks on my mannequin. Depending on your lighting situation, it'll look a little different. I would say wow. on, on you, where you are sitting, it's probably a little more representative of the color. Yeah, it's yeah. so... I feel like it's it's a very complimentary color to Shaded Biscuit. I always tell women it's very interchangeable. If you walk around every day, your random Joe Schmo on the street or at the office is not going to be able to tell the difference between this and Shaded Biscuit. Huh? I love this one because it just has that little bit of ashier tone to it. 
Yeah. I feel like it's just a little, has a little extra brightness to it. Yes, absolutely. And I'm glad if any of our girls out there, any of our all-stars or our bloggers out there, if you guys have an editor's pick and you want to pop on or any other wig that we're showing today, feel free to pop in, girls. If you got it handy, show everybody what we got. And now, I also okay. have it in shaded cappuccino. So oh, I can throw wow. this pretty <laughs> color on as well. Yeah, let's look at the shaded cappuccino because you guys are going to see a lot of times people think these are really close, but they're really not. There is enough difference. Oh, there is. I mean, looking at yours and then looking at Christina's, I mean, they look like different yeah, colors. Yeah. But just remember, we with true to life fibers, the closest thing you're going to find to real hair, the colors will differ because, of course, it's a curl. So yeah. when the curl changes, the color is going to change. Exactly. But when exactly. you see them in daylight, they we've emulated the closest thing to real hair. It's beautiful. Yes. And that's the cap. That's which one is that again, Christina? This so is shaded cappuccino. Which shaded cappuccino is kind of like if I put that wig up to my hair, it looks it's like my very hair. close. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I have yeah. been dying to get my hands on this color, but it is really beautiful. That's stunning. It's very rich, but you still have the highlighting in there, which I think adds a lot of dimension. You know, mm -hmm. you got the low lights and the and the highlights in there. So uh, that is absolutely beautiful. That's a color that I love my own hair to be. Um, really stunning. Remember, guys, true to life fiber, but I just want to show you the length on this. So it just sits lovely, sort of yeah. just past the shoulders a little bit. Exactly. Um, being such a success for us, it's been unbelievable. And remember, guys, this comes fully hand tied as well. Right. It does, doesn't it? Yes. And I got to just say, you know what, Christina, I don't think anybody in either color if you were out walking around would outside of clocking it for a beautiful hairstyle would ever would ever clock it as a being a wig at all no no and that's what i love about raquel's wigs they're just i feel like when people find out that i'm wearing a wig they're shocked yeah it, it you'd never know <laughs> that's my favorite feeling when someone is like shocked they're like that's a wig like i love, yes. I love that <laughs> Well, you say it to me sometimes. I know, I know. <laughs> That's to me sometimes. So you wear the wig, and you're not, because I got one and nobody knows when I'm wearing one on. No. Yeah, but he's he's crafty. What Kyle will do, and you guys, you can use this for your for your clients too, or yourself. He'll comb a little sliver of his own hair out and hold it into the front. So I'm like, is that your hair or not? What is it today? What is it? So, but yeah, but you know what? You didn't even have to do that, Christina. It looks gorgeous on you. So, yeah. and I will say, I love so Sarah. I actually saw her before I was a co-star when I first got into Raquel wigs. I saw Sarah in this wig and it was editor's pick. And I loved how she had it styled. I was a little intimidated by editor's pick because she is, she's a wow girl. She's got a lot of volume, a lot of curl. And I loved how Sarah had it styled. So I was like, I have to get that wig and, and try my hand at it. So I actually just go through with a flat iron and curl this. Oh, wow. And it just kind of takes some of yeah. that. Some of this curl out, you can see a little more relaxed beachy vibe. So yeah, it takes a little bit of that out. Totally. Yeah, I mean it's great. Look, we've got three different yes. sort of girls here and here. It could be a completely different wig. But like I say, all I did with mine was brush it out, shook it, give it a good shape. It's got that really gorgeous deep yeah. body mm -hmm. wave yeah. to it. So it's a beautiful, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Miss Christina. We're going to be seeing you a little bit later as well. Great to work with you, Christina. At last. Yes, I love it. I love. All right, guys, that's editor's pick. What do we got next? Okay. So we're going to pull out next. Yeah. So now we have got Always. Always. And Always is a classic, too. We've had Always in our collection for quite some time. Yes, we have. So I am going to be pulling out Always. Let's see. I'm going to be showing Always um, in the in Java. This is Java, is it? I, uh, no, Ice Mocha. Ice Mocha. Sorry, my love. Wait, say that again. Ice what? Mocha. Mocha. There's an argument with smoker, mocha, tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This always. Look at this, guys. Velvet contoured front, fully wefted wig. So very nice price point for your customers. And Kyle, you're showing it in which color? Yeah, this is the shaded business. He's okay. got the shade. The business. SS. So remember, guys, if you don't know what SS it means, shadow shade, yeah. slight smudged root. This blonde has taken the wig world by storm and copied by a lot of pe other wig people out there, I must yes, say. Yes, indeed. I'm not mentioning, it. but this is really, really the most fabulous color blonde. Now, a little bit of wig, Raquel Welch wig history. Yeah. This was one of the first uh, ever true to life wigs. 
that we designed for the collection. Oh, that's right. Yes. You know, I've been brilliant, Lawrence, every day, know. you know, for wig history. <laughs> so this was the first ever true to life wig, and it's really stayed on the top slot as well. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. It really has done well. And you guys, I am not brushing this out. Kyle's brushing it out. I yeah. have not styled this at all. This is really out of the box. And there's a reason why I did this for you. Because I didn't want to like alter because you're going to notice this. This is a question we get asked a lot. Can you guys see that? It says, it's a little tag that comes in. It says, do not comb or brush. <laughs> well, isn't that convenient? What? If you're wearing a wig, don't comb or brush it. Thank you. What? Right? <laughs> so, okay. The reason why that's on there, because we get to ask all the time. You will notice that most of the time on our curly wigs, okay? And that is because what was happening is customers were getting the wig like this and they were brushing the wig out, okay? And what was happening is this real ringlety curl that you see here was coming out, it was getting brushed out, it was getting softened like that. And so they're like, well, you know, I, you know, all my curls gone. So we wanted to let you know, if you like this ringlet look, just style it with your fingers. Don't do this, what I'm doing, right? But I'm gonna show a little trick on this too, right? Because you can brush this all the way out, okay? And it's so easy. So now I'm taking that curl tenderly look out, but you guys, with the curl spray or the restore spray, you can just go right back in. And when you re-wet this, uh -huh. you're gonna shake bring, her. And shake, you're gonna bring that curl that right curl back comes out. right back. So don't be nervous, okay? No. We just didn't want you to do, like brush it. And let's say, this is not the look you wanted because Cal brushed this. His looks very soft and very, like, you know, very like tumbled. If you want this more, what, like perm the, look, curl like photo, photo, yeah, yeah. Then, then you know, don't yeah. brush it out. So there you go. It is. Um, I wonder why you can you guess why this is one of my favorite wigs in the collection? I mean, look, I've turned this into a complete <laughs> golly bird, but I love this wig. I think it's just um, um, fully. It's got no bells and whistles. Yeah. So it's just a classic base. Yeah. But if you like a lot of volume in your head. Mm -hmm. Remember, um, there's no rhyme or reason. If you love mono tops, if you like um, lace fronts, hand tights, it's each to their own. Yes. If you like a lot of volume, this is why fully wefted wigs are great if you like a lot of volume because Indeed. it's got a bit of permities. And look at this, I'm just running my hands through it. And Alexa, so we're gonna to speak to in a minute. Yeah. If you go onto her Instagram page, the things, the bridal hair, the prom hair, I the know. glam hair that she achieves with this wig is unbelievable. I know. Let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. <laughs> we, got, we got Jess here. Oh my God, Alexa's there. There she is. Okay, I don't know which, I don't I know where she's coming in, girl. I thought I had you, but look at this. Look at this. Which, who's wearing always? Is that Alexis with the always? Well, there's no, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Jess. What do you got there, Jess? Always. Oh, I'm straightened it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, look at look at what Jess has done with this. She has managed to smooth this out. This is a true to life, heat friendly fiber. Tell us what you did, Jess. Tell us. I just took my my flat iron. I set it at 350 and sectioned off my hair and went bit by bit. And it took me maybe 15 minutes. Wow. So how are you, minutes. Jess? You look amazing. Love um, the asymmetrical top. Yeah. And I love what you've done with this. Absolutely. I Thank mean, you. Yeah, it's great to see you. I feel like we were just here <laughs> this year. Like, <laughs> move up. You know what? I wanted to say something about just the way she's done this. She styled it with the bang super sleek. Even though this does not have a lace front, it does look flawless. You've got it looking flawless. Is that any of your hair combed through the front, Jess, or anything like that? Nope. Wow. None of my hair is in the front. Teensy, tiny bit, like here. Yeah. Other than that, that's the reason because your color is brown pretty much. You have like a dark brown color naturally. My, yep. This is shaded ice Java, which is my favorite color. My uh, favorite color. My favorite too, but in the brunettes. Yeah. She looks very like a uh, soap starish in that, doesn't she? Absolutely stunning. Well, it's funny when we were choosing the girls, or Chris actually, Chris who puts the whole show mm -hmm. together, chose the girls for the wigs. And when she chose this one for you, I'm thinking, Mm, that's not something that you, you're going to wear, but look how you've transformed. It. Totally, totally. I mean, it is stunning. Right. And so for all of you at home, if you're thinking about maybe, you know, a true life fiber wig, that's the benefit as shown clearly by Jess. 
and you guys can find more like styles that Jess has done and more of her like, you know, Instagram posts. You can find her at Hair Loss Girl Boss. Okay, so don't miss out on that. Um, and I think we did have Alexis too. I think Alexis was wearing always too. We're, if Alexis, if you're wearing always, pop on in, girl. We want to see. Yeah. <laughs> or just go on to Alexis um, Instagram and you'd be blown away yeah, with the real. updos that Alexis does with it. And this, I think this just goes to show mm -hmm. with wigs. Once again, this is another top selling style, but she was one of the first ones that came yeah. out as well. So, you know what I mean? Sometimes the old styles are always the best. Yeah. You know? Yep. All these book goodies. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my darlings. So this is always. Check out always. Check out Jess. And Jess, we're going to see you in a little bit too. So we will go to our next one. Uh-huh. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. <laughs> all right, guys. Our next one is, I mean, they're all... They're all awesome. I don't know what to say. They're all awesome. The next one we have is Pretty Please. So Pretty Please Get Pretty Please. <laughs> Again, you guys, let me just remind you, all these wigs that we're showing you are featured in our 12 Days of Raquel December giveaway. We are doing this as a company to thank you all throughout the year. You'll be eligible for 12 wigs. Just go on to Facebook, uh, under Raquel Welch Wigs, or Instagram, under Raquel Welch Wigs. And then there'll be prompts to enter, and then you will be like automatically entered to win. So yeah. the next one, what do we got here? Oh, okay, pretty please. Okay, so I'll do construction. You do construction. Okay, kids. Pretty please is a. This is true to life fiber, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's true to life fiber. Getting confused there. Okay, pretty please is true to life fiber. It is an ear to ear extended lace front, as you can see there. And then we've also add a full mono top. Okay, a very nice feature. You can part it in any way you like. You can heat style it one direction or the other. And then we also added a hand tied center. Okay, this is really nice because it's breathable. It does give you a lot of flexibility. It falls very naturally because of all that hand tying. So it just moves. Like if the wind moves, it just flows. And then we added some wefting in the back to give you a little extra density. Okay, so a really nice, beautifully constructed cap. And yeah. I am also showing this in, um, I'm showing the Pretty Please in the Copper Mahogany. So you can see there's like little reddish glints in there. And that's RL630. All right, Kyle, what do you got? Stunning. Absolutely. One of my favorite wigs in the collection. If you want a bob, but you want a long bob, once you try these fully hand-tied wigs, they're so breathable. They're so lightweight. Beautiful if you're going to be losing your hair completely. Beautiful if you've got no hair at all. Beautiful, just slightly under the weather because the comfort is unbelievable. It is. So this is the pale golden honey. Now, this has become <laughs> one of my favorite color blondes. Yeah. I've been wearing this a lot lately. And I know. I think it's just one of these. Let me move in close, guys. Yeah. Look at this. Now, this is true to my fiber. You really get to see those 7 to 11 shades in that. Really, and truly. it is such a stunning blonde i mean i love it it's yeah such an ash blonde. you know what this to me is is if you've been wearing let's say you've been wearing like upstage which is coming up later mm -hmm. if you've been wearing upstage but you maybe want to change it up a little bit you want something with a little less volume you want something a little more every day then you want to save your something upstage for that thing yeah. Yeah, yeah i mean i think that pretty please is just a lovely natural look for so many different women it is stunning it's really stunning um just got the right amount of hair. Yep. Um, a lot of wig shops have been loving it because if you're a, um, excuse me guys, if I say if you're a girl, or <laughs> whoever's know. watching, whoever wears wig on them, whoever's wearing hair, and you just want a natural length hair. This is stunning. This is it. This yeah. is it. And you're going to see how stunning it is because we're going to bring Aaron on. Yes. Come on in, Aaron. Show us your version of this oh, lovely I'll say hair. Aaron. Hey, everybody. How are you guys? How are you, mother? Doing First good. of all, Aaron, when we finish, can I have that top? <laughs> no, but I, maybe, I'll share. maybe I'll share. It is awesome. I love it. Thank you. But I'm so excited to be with both of you guys. I have been so enjoying watching you going through these wigs, and I'm so excited for the viewers. Make sure you get involved and get a chance to win one of these beautiful styles because they are amazing. Absolutely. And so is Pretty Please. Absolutely. We got, we also have Sarah joining us. She's wearing it as well. That's, is that the SS cream? 
Sarah? Uh, this is iced sweet cream, actually. So no root. Oh, no root on that one. And no Aaron, root. you are wearing which one? Which I uh, shaded iced pumpkin spice, Frank. Okay, you guys, Erin is always wearing the blonde ones. I don't know if you know this. She's always wearing the blondes because she likes the blondes and they look good on her. Uh -huh. I love you in this color. I love this color too, Frank. I, I know, and you are right. Uh, I think it's a better fit for my skin tone. But you know what? I like being able to change it up. And that's a great thing about wigs. If you're comfortable to do so, I'm red one day and blonde the next. And that's just fun. And that's true. That's what it's all about, right? It's changing it up. And that's, that is the beauty that wigs afford women that yeah. their own hair doesn't, right? Can't change yeah. it. so it's, it's funny. When, since I've known you, Erin, I've only ever seen you as a blonde. Yes. When you put that red on for your social media, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. How is this looking? I mean, I'm going to mirror. No, I know it's looking good, but here's what I want you to do. Can you lean in and show everybody the yeah. hairline on this? Because yeah. I've been yeah. wanting this hair color and I've been trying this on. Can you see this? Go and close right in. <laughs> Look at that hairline. That's I mean, amazing. That's incredible. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm trying not to. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry, I can't quite see, but there you go. He can't help himself. Once he gets started, it's all <laughs> over, isn't but, it? Yeah. You Just know what I love about this, guys, is honestly, it was five minutes before we were jumping on here tonight. I have put this on my head, but I've never, I never broke the part. I didn't even take the tag off. And I thought, oh, shoot, <laughs> we're getting on here a lot. I better break the part. No, that's so, good. I mean, yeah. The beauty I, is I had to do nothing. Like all I did was break the part, take the tags off. And this is how amazing it looks, right? It's so wearable. And I think, I mean, looking at, at on you, Aaron, I'm looking at it on Sarah and on you, Kyle. And I mean, you guys are all different frames, but you can see generally where this falls, right? Yes. Just yeah. a nice length. It's good for everyday hair. If you want to feel like you have a little bit of length, but you don't want to deal with something really long. I just think it's a really nice, comfortable length. And all these like little light layers throughout, just a really sweet wig. And again, this construction, I think it's light as a feather. I'm sure you guys would. Yeah. One of the most um, comfortablest wigs. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Great length. And like I say, now I've fallen in love with this color. This one. Well, if you can put this up, there's enough length um, to put it up, whether it's a, you know, a cute low ponytail or yeah. because of these beautiful you know, sh layers here, it just really frames the face, right? So it's really pretty, but I will put it on because I, if it's okay, I also have it in Shaded Biscuit. Of course, well, I it out. Of course she has Shaded Biscuit. <laughs> Everybody has Shaded Biscuit, don't they? I mean, Sarah, do you have a Shaded Biscuit somewhere? I bet you do. I, I do <laughs> not in this though. Um, so- well, I bet um, in a wig you do. I bet yeah, in a, in a wig, absolutely I do. I, you know, I think I'm, I'm a, uh, one of the things I think I love about Kyle, what you were talking about is some of the, the different shading. And I know Aaron, that's a big thing for you too, but mm -hmm. in this one, in the ice sweet cream, there's no um, shading. The uh -huh. scalp is just all the way. And I have to admit at first, I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. Cause I'm such a eighties rooted girl, yeah. but I have to admit, I kind of love this bold look and especially next to um, Aaron's, it's just such a different transition between yeah. the two. Yeah. I love it. I, I'm with you, Sarah. It's funny. I was in the design room and I just popped this on. And, you know, I'm used to having the dark root. But, yeah. of course, because of the 7 to 11 shades, you're still getting a bit of a smudged root. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but absolutely. Then I was like, oh, I think the next time I get my hair sort of highlighted, I'm going to go for it more, you know, as the as this yeah. wig, you know. It's a great color blonde. If you don't know what mine is, mine is the Pale Golden Honey. It's such a stunning color blonde. Yep, it is stunning. And what am I showing you again? I've already forgotten. Oh, I'm showing it in the copper mahogany. This is the RL630. So you see some of those really nice warm glints of like a cherry cola. I like to call it like cherry cola. Uh -huh. That's what it reminds me of. So beautiful. Aaron, let's see that. Can we look at that? That's beautiful. That's the, the biscuit, right? Shaded biscuit. Yeah. So the darker roots. Um, I, you know, this is my, you guys know, this is my favorite blonde. Um, and you guys meant, you, I th Kyle, I think it was you earlier said others have tried to replicate it. And the key word there is tried. Right. Tried. <laughs> yeah. 
to me, this color is, it's special. It's special. And there's a reason why so many people love it. If you're a blonde, you're going to love it. It's just, it's, yep. a, but this is beautiful too. There are some different colors yeah. as well, but you're right. There's something about that, that I think there's a brightness to it that people like. But what it was, Frank, do you remember it was everybody wanted to be white and blonde because of a certain sisters beginning with K. Right. Whatever color hair they go, everybody was running to the hairdressers. Me the same. I snapped maybe all my hair off. Do you remember? I know. I went mad because I snapped it off. I was wearing blue shampoo on top of bleached hair. And then Yeah, and then he's saying to me, Can you can you fix my hair? <laughs> I'm like, Kyle, you can't give me a steak that's well done and I make it rare again. It doesn't work that way. You should. Get the wig. Get the wig. No, so we did nine cut white blonde, and it's it's just gone crazy for yeah. us. Crazy yeah. for us. It's the, it's the color you can't get naturally, so you have to use synthetic to get there, right? Or you'll yeah. have no hair left if you attempt it. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is our lovely Pretty Please. And I want to thank Aaron for joining us. I want to thank Sarah for joining us and presenting this wig. And we'll see you two lovely ladies in just a little bit. Thanks, girls. They look, they look fabulous. Oh, yeah. I love them. Love them. Love all our girls. We've got such beautiful, wonderful girls. They are. They're amazing. And if the people who are watching too, once again, we just want to say thanks to everybody who always yes. supports us through this and Absolutely. follows us. And yeah, fantastic. So what have we got next? Oh, we got a good one next too. They're all good. See, this, this, is, a, this is a fun one to do because we love all of these. So this is, we got trend setter. Trend setter. You want to know a little history about trend yeah, setter? Yeah, I was just going to say. This was the first wig that I worked on with Lawrence when I joined Harry Wear. Yes, sir. That's right. And uh, it's still around too. So go figure, go figure. So trend setter is that like real choppy shag. It's got a lot of movement and a lot of texture in it. And I'm going to show you the construction. It is um, a fully wefted wig. It is mod acrylic Vibrolite fiber, okay? So what you're going to find with Trendsetter is a really nice, comfortable, easy to wear cap with a beautiful style that's still chic and very, very fresh. So here you have the contoured band right in the front, nice velvet, so no scratchiness, no itchiness. And then we have this on the memory cap to stretch cap. The stretch is really good. And we have an extended nape, so it just kind of hugs right inside there. And we have the open ear tabs. So. Go on, Kyle. Oh, really? I'm showing that I forgot to say. I think I forgot to say. I'm showing Trendsetter in the glazed sand. This is our 1621S. Yeah, and I'm showing it in the glazed mocha, but I'm going to put her in close because yeah. this Go is in. is another wig that I've taken on television since it's come out. Yeah. Uh, this is I do the television in uh, Euro, the shopping town. So this is. This is up there. It's one of the top selling signs. You can see why it's got that ultimate um, shattered bob. Yes. Yeah. Ultimate oh. shattered bob. Now, all I did with this <laughs> was to spritz her, shake her. So, look, if you never, if you don't know what we do. He says a bob. I, mean, I always say shag, but for UK people, yeah. you know what I'm referring to. You cannot say that. They'd be spitting their cocktails yeah, up and laughing. Speaking that. of cocktails. Yeah. Anyway, my throat's getting a little you have a drink and I'll shake. The All right, you shake, I'll drink. You shake the cocktail. Yeah. The <laughs> so look, you give this a shake and you flip this over, and we've done all the hard work for you at hair you wear because wigs are for convenience. So all I do is shake this wig, and I'm just going to even just use my hands with this. I've got the glaze mocha color. I'm going to run my hands through it, and look, you've got that fabulous, timeless. Bomb yes in seconds indeed but what's great about this is guys it's a lovely length but if you don't want it so looking like it's a certain housewife we can smooth this down yes like this and just flick this up at the neck and you get a really sort of lovely sort of daytime yeah. sort of um a slightly longer version of exactly. winner with it exactly. so a lot of people go for winner and this as transitional wigs yeah yeah. Let's look at it on our beautiful Amber. Let's bring yes. Amber in. You guys, you know Amber. She is at Fabricating Fringe on Instagram. Hello, Amber. Hi. How are you Hello, doing, you girl? Hi, Amber. I'm here at last. Now, you Hello. look like a glamorous housewife in that. Let me tell <laughs> you. Yes, housewife right here. <laughs> Beverly Hills. I'm just saying. <laughs> 
And yeah. I did the, I did the smoothed out look. Um, I didn't do the shake, and this is straight out of the box as well. I, I in fact, I just pulled off the tag, and and it's so cute with Love not that. a lot, you know. Yeah, done what to color it. is that? Because it, it's hard for me to tell here. Okay, so this color is um, shaded ice co cafe latte, okay. um, um, SS nine slash twenty four. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it shows it it looks a little bit darker in this lighting i think yeah um but it has a beautiful root um it has gorgeous highlights and i would say to me it looks like a, a medium a medium brown yeah i think i would describe it the same way that color is usually it's like a chestnut with like a chestnut with some golden highlights thrown in okay right? so he's 1923 ss and i'm that one <laughs> so, <laughs> but amber that looks lovely on you it just looks very chic and fun and fresh and uh just very flattering and i think it will flatter just a lot of different women oh, that's why it's, it's, it's beautiful and i always like because i've had a wig shop frank's had a salon uh lawrence's partner's got a fabulous wig business as well mm. and we've all been in the chair so i like yeah. wigs that we can transform into sure. as many different looks if that person gets into the chair and <laughs> And I like once again with shopping television. Sometimes you have to talk about this way. I can turn this into so many different looks. And this sort of um, this sort of longer back cut is really big again. Yes, know? yes. This nineties hair is very big again, mm -hmm. and I just love it. And of course, all you got to do if you want it big and glamorous again is shake it. What do you What do you say? Shake, shake the wig. The wig. Look at that. It looks like a completely different wig. Yeah. 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 Gorgeous. Well, Amber, thank you for showing us this gorgeous style. You look gorgeous. And I got to tell you, compliments on the backdrop. Very festive and yeah. very glam. Very glam. Thank you. I figured I'd put up the twinkle lights, you know, be a little festive. But love anyway, it. you guys look great. I love the red jackets. Thanks, Shook. <laughs> and I love that you guys are together, too. So Finally, I know. Oh, class. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. <laughs> bad. By the way, if you're just tuning in, guys, this is a Vibralite fiber. So remember, yep. it's not a heat stylable fiber. No need to really because of the fiber. It's cut in a certain way. And um, but there is still seven to 11 shades for everything. Yep. Colorway. This is the glaze mocha. Lovely. So much volume. I, yeah. I love that. that. I mean, fullness. I can just fluff it easily. Great for a woman with a larger frame because yeah. the fullness balances. It's great. A very famous singer bought this song. Oh, I can say it. Shirley Bassey. She bought oh, this Oh, did she? Yeah. She, she made to sell for just and bought about six of these. God, love Shirley. Very famous yes. singer. But it's a love. beautiful way. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you, Amber. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, love. All right, guys. Right. Well, Our next one man. after Transcender is, oh, real oh. doozy. The one and only Spotlight. Now I'm showing Spotlight in this lovely color. This is the RL1622 Iced Sweet Cream. If you want that Marilyn Monroe, you know, white blonde with just a touch of beige in it, the Iced Sweet Cream is for you. So let me tell you about the construction on this while Kyle gets it all dialed up. We have a complete lace front here, okay? This stretches temple to temple. We have a full mono top which is great for the different parting options, as you know. And then this one also has the memory cap too, and it's all wefted, but very nice, light, open wefting. And then you have the velvet ear tabs for the comfort along there. So this is a classic style. This has been around a long time. Yeah, um, really beautiful. If you like length mm -hmm. or you want long hair and you've never could grow your hair, Maybe you can't afford to have top extensions yet. This is a really brilliant long option because it's got so much layer in it. So yeah. if you're a, a person of a certain age who likes long hair, this is very flattering because of the multi-layering through sure. it. For Just sure. gonna talk about this color. This is the pumpkin spice. Look yeah. at this. It's what Aaron had on earlier. Yeah, if yeah. you wanna wear a red, this red is a complete knockout color. What I found with working with wigs, Frank, wigs are so big now, they're not just for necessity. We've, right. we've, we've branched into, they are a fashion accessory. So people are changing up their hair now, like the shoes and handbags. Yeah. 
if you're wearing wigs for fashion reasons, this red suits everybody. Yeah. It, it seems does. to flatter everybody. It does. It's the eyes pop. You know why? Because it's not like a real one way or the other. It's uh-huh. kind of like right down neutral, almost like a brownish coppery red. So yeah. You knocked out to the pop and designed these actual colors for oh, Really you, stunning. Yeah, look at this. Whoa. So there she is. This is Spotlight, a fan favorite. Yeah, this I can see Jackie in this. Yeah, my mother's wore this many right. a time. Carly. Uh, my sister, who normally models for us, mm-hmm. uh, Carly wears this a lot. I wore this loads of times, as you know. You'll probably be wearing it this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on now, but you've got the oh. <laughs> no. I don't look as a redhead. But this is it's really great because well, look at the... Yeah. Carly wears hers completely center part. Yeah. Which can look really sort of cool and trendy. Yeah. If you... My mother, of course, wears hers... To the side mm-hmm. because you like lots of volume in the hair. It's just a great wig it that's going to suit everybody. You want to see how great it is? Uh-huh. Let's bring Sarah in. Sarah, Sarah, come on in, girl. Look at that. Look so, at that. First of all, I did a little uh, closer to God with this hair because <laughs> I need a lot of like, I love that this is messy bedhead hair. Um, yes. It just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And um, I think we need a cheers real quick because you guys have been going like four or five wigs without a little toast. So Thank can you. we just slow up our roll and Aaron and I and, and <laughs> you can grab yours and uh, nice. here is cheers to the best wig company that exists, um, makes people feel beautiful and what a better way to bring cheers. in a season for the reason. Thank uh, you. Happy yeah. holidays to you both. What do you all got there? Aaron, what do you got? Is there- Okay, so I was drinking ice wine. I, I it was a 22 year old bottle. I think it went bad, folks. So oh. I ran upstairs and I got a type of cooler. Okay, I thought you were gonna say you finished it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I that's what I thought. I'm like, you go, girl. Sarah, what I'm, you got doing, there? Um, I'm doing a Paloma. You know, I'm a tequila girl, so I always have something with tequila. So, okay. Kyle. Well, I'm on the same as you. Yeah. How are you doing? You okay? It's all great. All yeah. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. I hit the tequila last weekend. Mm-hmm. Oh, Most there's everything. my boy. Next time we're together, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, girls, um, you look great. I've seen you all wear this, and I love it. Can't um, stress enough. If you want to see wig style amazingly, you have to go onto all the girls' yes. uh, Instagram page. The things I've learned from these girls, and I've been doing wigs for 30 years, unbelievable but not just the girls who are in the show all the girls who yeah. buy from us go onto their instagram and yeah check out what they do yeah you know, well, i love what you said this is the not just a side part and not just a center part so i absolutely love that because i thought maybe we could just play with it while we're on and show people how easy it is to change love it look at that because i think people assume it takes a really long time to change your part one way or another right and you know, it's a real literally quick tip. seconds, and it changes yeah. the whole look of the wig. I'm telling you, a really quick tip for that is to when you get the part where you like it, all you need to do is mist it with a little water and hit it with the blow dryer on medium heat and yeah. brush it a little bit, and it will yep. stick beautifully. That's the wonder of this beautiful true to life fiber. You can coerce it, don't feel like you can't. So, yep. another right. point you girls look absolutely lovely, Sarah. Well, we always got to style it with the hat. I am doing, um, actually, this one is in Shaded Biscuit. I um, really love the red, though. Um, yeah. But love I just, it. again, I just feel like it's the holiday time, hats, scarves, right? Changing up uh, what maybe everybody sees you in day-to-day wear. And then you just, you know, get a little attitude and shift that. And, you know, you're ready to just change it from business meeting to going out on the town. So yeah. Yeah. I love it. Aaron, what are you wearing? What color are you so, wearing? Yeah, I have shaded biscuit, but I have to say, if I can, before I ever got um, spotlight, I was when I looked at the wig online, I was a little bit worried about these bang sections. I thought maybe they were a little bit too heavy. Mm-hmm. I can tell you when I got it, and like I just so I came on it when it was parted. Like Kyle, I think you said your mom wears it sort of off to the side, yeah, and then like part of your sister sort of down the middle like I have it right now and I love that versatility and I think you know what what you mentioned earlier is 
women of all ages can really wear this longer hair really comfortably because of some of these beautiful layers on the side. So I'm sold. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome. And it's also great too to wear up. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah because so can you see these layers? It's very easy if you if you have no hair and you're a bride or a pro, we're going to a prom. Yeah. This is a great one to wear up front. Very and marred. Very on that. I, I just want to know when you say um, women of a certain age. <laughs> um, I turned 52 this year. So I'm wondering, am I a woman of a certain age? No, or no, 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 no. We're referring to women in their 90s. Yeah, I'm Switch talking that about that. Up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, hmm, I wonder if I hit that woman no, of a certain no. age. Sarah, the category. number keeps going higher. Yeah. And higher okay, and higher. good. Good. No, good. The, the reason why I say that is, it's because of my mother. If you, my mother's like 73. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. she is yeah. not cutting that hair. She said, the day I cut my hair is the day you put me in the grave. Yeah, but you, know but you know what? But you know what? We've got to admit, if you're, if you're of a certain age and you have longer hair, the fullness does help. So getting the yeah, fullness out of the wig, yes. yeah, it does help a lot. Well, and that's what I love it. about this. It doesn't have permatease, right, that people yeah. talk about. It's super light. Um, which you guys have referred to, but all you really have to do is just uh, just mess with it a little bit with your hands. And all of a sudden you get this amazing volume that you just put in there because of the cut. And there aren't very many wigs you can do that, that it doesn't look frizzy and it just looks so natural. I um, posted this on TikTok when I first got it, literally right out of the box, the tag was still on it, didn't cut the yeah. um, lace already hit like 72,000 views with oh people God. just dying to get their hands on it. And I think maybe some colors are even sold out. So I, I totally agree with Aaron. If you guys have not tried to win this or get on this, yeah. you have got to get on it when it's in stock because yeah, it absolutely. is worth it. Absolutely. And you know what, guys, the other nice thing about this too is no matter if you really like it, it also comes in petite, average, and large as well. So the pet, you, you know, your head size is not a limitation. Yeah, so and then fully hand tied. And fully hand tied. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, girls. This again was the lovely spotlight. We're going to move to our next one, which is called Upstage. Now, y'all, Upstage needs no introduction, right, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. Y'all know Upstage. Once again, um, this is another one. So mm -hmm. we sort of, it's funny, well, these are all our top selling styles, but if you love a bob, but a bob that is never going to date, a bob that always looks stunning, yeah. it's going to suit anybody who's going to wear it, so lightweight, just the right amount of hair, yeah. this is the way. It's so good, yeah. so good. I, I love this, we were talking about before, like, you know, volume is so important to you know, just defy gravity. Yeah, just like my hair keeps getting higher and higher. Too. <laughs> I've got more back pieces. Absolutely. On. <laughs> so, this one, if you want a little volume, is nice. So, here's Spotlight. You have an extended ear to ear lace front with this. You have a hand tied top, or I should say, mono top. Sorry about that. A mono top. And then you have a hand tied back in here with just some wefting to give it some density into the nape area, as well as the velvet ear tabs and the velvet extended nape, okay? I just brushed this out real quickly. I'm showing upstage, by the way, in the RL 5660, which was one of our lovely, stunning silver colors. Yeah, best-selling color gray. Oh, it's a glam, yeah. isn't it? Isn't it? So stunning. And I'm showing it in the iced Java color because Gotta say, it is my favorite color yeah. brown that we've ever designed. It is. It's I color. love it. You know, it's those ash brown highlights. Of it. It's like, I, I know what I loved about that. To me, it's like, I'm always trying to tone women's red tones in the salon. Because you know, if you've had a client that's sitting in your chair in the salon, who's a brunette, you put some eyes on like, is it red? Like, I don't like red. Is, I think red is gorgeous. I don't get why they... But if you don't like red, you see just a little bit and it just aggravates you. <laughs> so this has none. So that's the beautiful thing about it. So you guys look upstage, look at this, two seconds. I mean, I've just popped it on here. This is just glorious, lovely, soft wave layers uh, that form this shape. And you can just you can just move this with your hands and it just goes into place, doesn't it? It is stunning. I mean, what I did was just shook this and hang it upside down yeah. and use a bit of our um, fabulous hair you wear hairspray yeah. and it's very lightweight but look at this i've done nothing to it i love how it can flick out the other way too I, 
I know. Uh, yeah, I know you've got the lick going. You know how I yes. love it. Kyle calls that my lick. I love yeah. like I love this. This is like my <laughs> signature. Frank Lick. I think that's how we got. I got the job with Rock Kelly. It's creating the lick. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, we have Aaron with this, I believe, who's wearing upstage for us. Aaron, pop on in with upstage, would you please? Look at who's ready for a Christmas party? I am. <laughs> oh yes, my God, guys. When you say I'm watching you, you know, play around with the fibers. And when you say all you need is your hands, you're so right. Like, I mean, the fact that you can move around this part so easily, I feel like, I feel like I would, when I come out of a really good, great salon yeah, and yeah. I'm a child and the cut is so good that, you know, regardless of how you play with it, it just falls beautifully. Yeah. Like, like, those, like those appointments you come out of the salon and you're like, I don't want to sleep tonight because my hair looks right. so good. I just want to go out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly how this, this is a really exceptional style in my opinion. It's just beautiful. It's been a classic for a long time. And you know, I want to remind you guys too, Upstage is one of the wigs that we're doing in our giveaway this month for December, the 12 days of Raquel. Just again, if you're just joining us now, as I said before, go on to Facebook's um, uh, Raquel Instagram. Welch Wigs and Instagram. Yeah, and Instagram Raquel Welch Wigs and just go on there and you can enter to win. And uh, we're doing this uh, because we love you guys. Yeah, and it's it's an amazing giveaway. Yeah. Everything that you're seeing could be yours. Please get involved. Follow us. If yeah. you want to ask us questions privately, you're welcome yes. to. I just want to say, look at this too. Do you know, I funny so when Carly first moved to London, mm -hmm. this was the first wig that she wore because Carly loved that very 60s yeah, yeah. flick out hair. So you can smooth this right down. And because of the fiber, look, it just bends. Yeah, it just starts. And then you can flick out on the end. So too. true. Really I'm, great. I'm trying, you know, guys, I've been trying to answer questions tonight, but we've had so much to so go much through. To it's been impossible. And I see you guys are all there. And I just wanted to say again, you know, to everybody, we got Sharice there, Charisse, or Christy Robles is there. We got Danny there. Um, we got uh, Lanita. Thanks for watching, Lanita. So many people. Dawn Hand. I mean, I can't even, I can't keep up. Dawn Vermillion. Thank you, Dawn, for watching. Um, and Susan. Uh, and we have Sandy Spencer. We have Tara Wheeler. My goodness, my goodness. Hi, everyone. But remember, guys, we, because we're so busy with this show, and this will go on to um, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. And then me and Frank will always watch it back. Everybody here you ever will watch it back and we'll answer your questions if there's anything more in depth. Yes, 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 indeed. But don't forget, enter online and you guys can win for the 12 Days of Raquel. Aaron, thank you for showing that. Can you see the back of that really quick? Yes, absolutely. Let me just make sure. Can you guys see that? Yeah, and that's what I like about this. I think that's what women have found about this that they really like, is they like all that movement in there. And that it's just, yeah. it's layered, but it looks finished. Yes. Really beautiful. You know? And there, if you don't know what a fully hand-tied yeah. base is, there you go. This is individually hand-stitched. Yes. Hair by hair. And that means you can move the part in, in any direction. And it's the ultimate when it comes to comfort and style. Absolutely. All right, guys. Love it. That's our upstage. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. The next one is for our girls who love long, luxurious locks. You're going to be really happy with the next one because the next one is called Mesmerize. And if you want to mesmerize girls, this is the one to mesmerize with. And I guess boys too, right? Yeah. yeah. This is one of my, in fact, this is mine. Um, so she is one of my favorite. He, she, them. Well, you know what that means. Did you see the mannequin has moved out of the frame? This is going on. What's going on? Um, this wig is been so successful with her. You know, we have um, we have lots of long wigs in the collection, but once again, I think the key to wearing long hair is layering. Yeah. So if you like, you want long hair, but you think maybe I can't wear it, it's not that flattering. Right. We've designed this with tons of layers. It's really like an extra long version of yeah. the spotlight. It is. Yeah. And I'm going to show you the construction on this because yeah. for as long as it is, it's not very heavy at all. No. no. So you have ear to ear extended lacers. So you can put this half up, half down, whatever you like. And you have a hand tied top, right? I'm sorry, I keep saying hand tied. <laughs> you have a mono, mono top. top. It's yeah. a mono top, okay? Mono. But the one. mono is hand tied. Yes. So and then you have a hand tied back. So I always get that 
and I'm getting too like you know ahead of myself. And then you have a hand tied back. So let me rephrase in case I didn't say it properly. You have an extended ear to ear lace front. You have a mono top. You have hand tied back, so very light, lots of freedom of movement, and then some wefting. Again, we've added for some density. You got the velvet ear tabs and the velvet nape. This one is a beauty, isn't it? It is. I mean, Frank, I can't. I haven't got a mirror right here. So no, I don't. Just, just, just pop it I just want you to check the front. Yeah, let me check it out. Because, right. but listen, so this is the color. Look at this color. Let me see that. This is my dream color. Yeah. Let me just adjust the ear tabs a bit. Yeah. There you are. There you go. Now, here's the here's the stunning thing about this is just you've got to look mm -hmm. at this hairline. And I know, I know, you know, you're you're kind of wearing it, but get in a little closer. No, yeah, I'm just holding it that, down because look at that hairline. Yeah, look at this. And you know, Kyle, I just to let you know, this is a man. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> I mean, and this wig cap fits him. So, I mean, keep that in mind. The average caps do get you a lot of mileage depending on what the circumference, what your head shape is. So um, you know, keep that in mind when you're looking at these that they do flex. And I also say the more you wear them, the the more they kind of mold your head. That's what the whole idea behind a personal fit cap is. Now, okay, guys, mesmerized. I'm showing this in the bronze sable. You want to talk about a luxurious brown? Bronze sable sounds just like it is just what it sounds like. A sable coat. Stunning. Kyle, which color are you showing? I'm showing. This is a new color, which um, is called SS Wheat. Mm. And I, it was a color that I never thought I would wear. I really did. So as you all know, I'm a guy, look at this. If I'd lost my hair, well, I yeah. tell you something funny, okay? Yeah, but look at this. When I go on television, sometimes, because my hair is naturally curly, guys, okay? Would you ever not think that this, I haven't had my hair blown? No, much. show them the base. Look at you guys, look at this. Look at that. It looks like scalp through there. I mean, it's stunning. So for all our necessity wearers, anybody who's going to be scared about losing their yeah, hair, yeah. which is going to be the worst thing for anybody watching. Okay? Absolutely. But funny enough, in all our experiences, Lawrence is the same. People can accept um, the illness, but they can't accept wearing the wig. What, yeah. what I'm talking a long time ago now, they were petrified, yes. thinking the people that think it's going to think it's a wig. Right. But I mean, I wore this out and it just can emulate yeah. my hair. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. that's the thing about it is you have to just, you know, believe in the process and trust in it. And if you feel good, you feel confident and you exude that, people aren't going to be looking and saying, are you, is that a wig or is it? Right? Yeah. They're just not going to do it. So you guys, I want to show you, um, we have Amber, who is wearing the mesmerized wig. Come on in, Amber. Show us that mesmerized you got on. Look at uh, Speaking of confidence, this wig definitely, I, I love this wig. And I love the lace front. It's so great. Look at that. <clears throat> yeah, that looks oh, great. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It, it's just beautiful. This That's color what color is that? The, the color is, um, let's see, it's the Shaded Ice Latte Macchiato, um, yeah. the SS1723. I know a lot of people have shown that, shown that sorry, you guys, um, shown that tonight. And I, uh, I agree with Christina. I love the, um, the more ashy tone in this blonde. Yeah. It's so yeah. pretty. So pretty, my love. I mean, I love that color. I love you in this wig, actually, darling. I, I've seen you wear it a lot. It's a mm -hmm. great wig. But remember, I think um, the ash blondes have been taking prevalence, the yeah. white blondes. But I think sometimes, you know, because I've been trying these warmer blondes as well. Yeah. I love the warm blondes, too. Yeah. Well, you know what happens is we're like, we are like, you know, we're, we're in it and, and we're doing it every day. And so we've been doing, we've been working on these, you know, cool tone colors. We're working on the ash tones colors for so long. And now when we see warm tone colors, we're like, you know what? I kind of like that because we're, it's, it's like new again, right? And you know what? All the hairdressers out there doing all the time, you know, roots are very popular. Now, two years from now, the, no one's going to want roots. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I like it all. I like non rooted, rooted, ashy, warm, brunettes blonde like i'll try it all <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. and you know what this being the raquel namesake brand that we're showing you will never see raquel in the roots or very rarely rarely if we push her to wear one but she doesn't yeah. she doesn't care for a root and oh we got them for everybody that's something for everybody so 
gosh, I yeah. gotta just say, you guys, you can see Amber in more styles. Check out her Instagram at uh, Fabricating Fringe. Um, she's got a ton of posts up there, and you can just see her kind of sharing her insight with you. Um, and we appreciate you doing that all the time, Amber. It's, it's always great. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you so much. Of I appreciate course, it. You, this is that's your wig. That, that's, this yeah. mesmerized is you, girl. It's your. I love wig. it. I love the light density. It's it does give you that that va va voom glam look, but it's sleek and and it's very uh, natural looking because yep. of the light density. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So glamorous. I'm funny. Chris was telling me my sister wore this. I got it on my page in the ice um, sweet cream. Uh -huh. We had one of the most hits. Do you see Carly in this? Yeah, I do. She she my sister's dark, but she wears yeah. this in white blonde, and she just looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, Amber. We'll see you in a bit, girl. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> All right, guys. We're moving on because I got four more for you. Four Ooh, more. We're going through. Well. We're going through them. So the next one is. Play it straight, okay? Play it straight is a really great style if you like a short, layered, kind of um, almost like a choppy bob. I know you call them all bobs, Kyle. Yeah. Why do you call them all bobs? Well, I think I call them bobs just because, you know, it's sort of, when you say shortcut, oh, short. people just presume it's going to be too short, you know? Yeah. Uh, but to me, these are these are all bob length. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm not a hairdresser. He's the hairdresser. Although Michael, Michael Walter, who's our, uh, who owns the company, he also says, Can you are a hairdresser. I am a hairdresser, but I'm not a trained... A synthetic hairdresser. Yes, I am a <laughs> wig hairdresser. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, play it straight. This has an ear-to-ear -ear extended lace front. Then we have a mono part, okay? So we have that little bit of parting area there that gives it a natural part area. Then we go into full wefting on a memory cap too. And then we have a velvet nape and velvet ear tabs, again, for comfort. And as I was saying, this is just a choppy kind of like layered bob. Um, I am showing this today in the SS Champagne, which is the SS 15, um, it's the 1524. And what are you showing? I'm showing SS Toast. So it's an old one. Great, yeah, to see, that. great to see them together. Yeah. You know, um, I never realized, because if you just look at the brochure, uh, you styled it on Raquel very, very sleek. Yes. But actually, she's got a lot of layering, she lots does. of movement. And then um, yes. if you like um, upstate, if you like that type of bob, but you want more layering in your hair, yeah. try this wig. It is gorgeous. Well, at the time we launched it, that was kind of like the look, right? Yes. And so when we did it on Raquel, we did do this. We just kind of smoothed this out. I'm going to, let me bring her in the frame. When yeah. we did it on Raquel, we just kind of smoothed the front out. And just kind of like made it just really, really along the jawline, like sit really tight. And so now, of course, we're getting back into that whole idea of less sleek, more movement. So this is really nice because it's just very easy. Tossle it around. Again, I love just the lace front in there just to give that, that you know, that versatility. Yeah. You know? I think once again, um, a very easy wig to wear. They're all they're all designed yes. to be easy wear. Yes. But um, if you like a bob, or if you want something a bit longer, it just sits to the shoulders. But I love love the movement. Yeah. It, it's know? just it's just real shaky and tossed. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Because since after designing it, sometimes we don't see them for a while. Uh, we don't. And now I'm sort of falling back in love with this one. I know. <laughs> Let's see Christina in it. Christina. If you're out there, girl, pop on in. There she is. Hi, Christina. Hi. So I am wearing Play It Straight in Shaded Toast. Very, oh, so nice. the one that Kyle's showing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you guys at home, if you're watching, you can see the toast here on Kyle's mannequin. I told you it looks a little warmer in our cameras for some reason, and maybe yeah. your computer looks a little different, but look at that on Christina. Just a I feel really like it's a very, I tend to gravitate towards the neutral, cool colors. This is a very wearable color. Yeah. I was very pleasantly surprised with this one. But I yeah, have to say. Christina, I want to see that a little closer on you. The yeah. hairline is absolutely incredible. Let me give yeah. you a 360. Yeah. And remember, guys, this is not true to life. This is value for life. Right. Just to right. let you know. Right. And, um. But as you say, I got the same color here as well. And like, like all I've done now, look, is just remember all the fiber will bend in. That's why I love fiber. Yeah, it's a real hair. Look at this. So, this is actually my first fiber light from Raquel Welch. And I was nervous because I feel like when you think of synthetic wigs, you think of like 
you know, your grandma's little shiny synthetic wig and everybody, you know, it sticks out like a sore thumb. But I think you mentioned it earlier, Frank, it is just a very natural, healthy hair shine. Yes. And you know, if you don't like the shine, if you like the style that comes... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I told you we're going to get in trouble. If you, yes, like, yeah. <laughs> if you like the style, but you want a little less shine, you can always do a dry shampoo on it. Yeah. And, and that's what I did on this one. I <laughs> just ran a little bit of dry shampoo through it. Today, or any excuse to have the drink. Um, yeah, today he had me, I was driving around looking for dry shampoo. I I love Vibro Light. Yeah. You've got to remember, when I started wig styling 30 years ago, this the fiber, there was no true to life. No. And wigs were no. just as fabulous. So um, it's a total preference. Like you say, blast it with some dry shampoo. And you wear it once or twice, yes. and this yes. is fabulous. And, and if you're watching and you're kind of new to the, the whole week thing, and you're thinking about the Vibrolite, I mean, you know, here's the thing. is There's instructions that come with your wig. So if you're worried about, like, how am I going to shampoo it? How am I going to care for it? All that comes with your wig. You get a little pamphlet in there, and they'll tell you how to shampoo it, how to let it air dry, and all of that kind of stuff. But yeah. I got to tell you, Miss Christina, looking lovely there. You know what it reminds me of? Are you guys Jen Aniston in the 90s Friends fans? This reminds me of Jen Aniston when Friends first started. Yep. And you see that, that little one right there. Little bob, and I have like a little clip in. Yep. It's a good ear tuck. Yeah, it's a classic. Oh, you know what? Cameron Diaz had the same similar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that one yet. Yeah, it's, a, cla true. it's a classic look. It's when we um, replicated 50 years of. Hey, where you, yeah. you did the Jennifer Anderson for yeah. the 90s. Yeah, yeah it was an it? iconic look, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's exactly this. I never yeah. thought of that with a little beret. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. Yeah. fabulous. You look gorgeous, my love. Thank you. Hey, you guys. This color is next level. It's so good. I'm glad you like it. I like it on you. So thanks for showing us that, Christina. Thank you. And cheers, guys. I think I'm the last one. Cheers. What are you drinking? Oh, my hubby. My hubby is a, he's a frustrated bartender. So when COVID happened, my husband who does not drink, he got into like at home cocktails. And so this is like creation of his own. This is, um, he's called it autumn gold. Ooh, nice. Right. Here's the autumn gold. Yeah. Yes. Bourbon <laughs> and uh, honey simple syrup. It's delicious. Oh my goodness. Get, oh. get selling that brand. Get selling that brand. <laughs> I need a hubby. You don't like the skinny bottle. You <laughs> need a hubby to bring you cocktails. I need a hubby to make me cocktails. Gosh darn it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much, Christina. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. So bye. I was before we left, Tara Wheeler wanted to know, why is it best to turn the wig inside out when it's in, in the box? Well, I just prefer it because it keeps for traveling. If you do this, Tara. Hi, Tara. Thanks for watching, my darling. I like to keep this because, look, it keeps everything intact. Yes. So how the wig is styled, because remember, if that's in your box or if you're in your bag and you're traveling, it will stay. If it was out, it could get a bit mashed up. Yeah, it could. The, the kind of keeping the fiber the way you styled it on the interior part, uh, I think just preserves it a bit better yeah. than if you just went the other way. I prefer it. And yeah. more for traveling, really, Tara, because if you've got no hair or your hair, you wear your wig every day, and you get your destination, yeah. you want it to look as good as possible. Yeah. And that will stop it from messing up, I find. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for asking that, Tara. All right, my guys and gals. Our next one is one that we've had around for a long time, too, because it's just been such a lovely wig. It's so many people. It's called Voltage. And you're going to turn up the heat this Voltage, right? Yes. So <laughs> we got a contoured velvet front on Voltage. And then we have the memory cap, Raquel Wells memory cap, right? And then you have an extended nape and you have open ear tabs. So this has been, I mean, ugh, this is a dynamite wig. This is, you know, if you saw Trendsetter earlier, this is Trendsetter, but it's generally shorter all over. Yeah. Got to ask Lauren, if you wanted Lauren to think, this was out pretty early in the oh, yeah. collection too. And um, once again, if I cannot, keep this i sell the heck yes. out of this on television because once again if it's got lots of volume lots of texture lots of movement yeah lots of choppiness if you love winner as you say you could jump from winner to this
to trendsetter, and that's your sort of hair growing out. Yeah, right. Like you have the different year. phases, right? Yeah. Shorter, longer. Brilliant. Right. Do you, if you want to know, guys, I love using the Restore Spray. So this is our wet line that we sell. It's amazing. It's designed for fiber and new packaging, I believe. Fur. Yes, it is. We've changed the packaging. So you guys, if you're looking at our products and you're saying, well, that doesn't like look like the old cleanse at the old Restore, it's because we've changed the packaging. We've just modernized it a little bit. But it's the same product that you've come to know and love. So don't be alarmed by the new packaging. It was time to update a little bit. And you'll probably see some new packaging coming through on the other products as well. It's just trying to give it a fresher look, you know? Yeah. But I swear by the, out of everything, I love the um, the conditioner, the restorer. I know. Because I love I it. Know. You love it. And I love the curl. Yeah, I love this because for me, I like putting some form of product through the wig mm -hmm. because it really so that you can make it your own. It's also conditioning your fiber well, that's true. at yes. the same time. And you're not sort of, uh, the least you wash your wigs, the better, guys. You know? It, yeah. So I love using it. The smell is divine. And I can see that you're going to jazz her up. So I well, do, you know. Yeah, look, I've, uh, I like the... I've smoothed her down. Yeah, you made her very it's, cheap. It's very cheap, no. She's like a longer. That was lovely. What color are you showing the? Uh, this the is in the SS Golden Wheat Shadow Shade Golden Wheat, fourteen eighty eight. One of the best selling yeah. blondes. Once again, one of the first blondes designed by Teresa Lawrence. Yeah, and you know, I got to tell you guys too. The I'm showing it in the glazed vanilla, which is the R twenty three S. And I just want to make a point. You might think vanilla is yellow, but this is not very yellow. It's got a little bit of warmth to it, a little bit of like a golden tone with the beige blonde. So if you said, oh, glazed vanilla might be too too yellow or too gold, it's not. It's, it's pretty beige, right? Yeah, Just there's not a hint. This one, when it comes to designing colors, <laughs> is so meticulous that it gets a little bit of nerves. <laughs> you can't, there's, there's more be one hint to yellow <laughs> in anything. <laughs> I can't help it. I used to love doing color in the salon on, on human hair. And yeah. so that whole thing has to translate into wigs. And, and yeah. I think that's why we focus on color, because I think it's very important. Well, no, it makes a big difference because well, yeah. I'm not a colorist. And I'm like, oh, that'd be all right. Fun for no way. No. I stood outside in a light. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go, but yeah, go inside, outside, yeah. under the fluorescent lights, all that kind of well, stuff. Well, the thing is, if, if you're going to be having the top quality, we are the, come on, this is the designer. This is the Gucci of the wig world. You know, that the, the color is going to be like you've gone to a top style. Absolutely. Isn't it? And we try. We've we had a miss here and there. No, we <laughs> dare you. <laughs> oh, dare I'm at least being realistic. Yeah. I'm being realistic. Yeah. Okay. But it's still, you know, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. You got to learn. You have to. You have to experiment. You have to try different things. You do. Right? And you put yours yeah. and mine together because yeah. you think it's a different wig, but it's Isn't not. Right? Yeah. Turn yours to the side. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah, she doesn't have the root. Yeah, she's just the R twenty three S plane. Yeah, it's a it's a really yeah. great shortcut. Yeah, I keep on going back to uh, wig businesses. So if you yeah. if you just start in, she's another one. Yeah. I think if you look back, if you if you don't know what to have in your capsule, if you just started a business, mm -hmm. just get all these twelve. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is very right. Five exactly the right. color, and you're exactly you right. happy. And you know the thing that we that makes us work so well together, right? Is but well, Lawrence has the history. Absolutely. Right? So he brings yeah. the history to the table of the company and what sells and what does well. And Kyle brings the you know actual experience in the shop to and 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 television to yeah. To our own salon. Yeah. Yeah. And I bring the hands-on hairdresser, the human hair element to it. So I think we all work really well. And we all have great perspectives. And so hopefully all of you are going to benefit from that. That's the goal, right? Yeah, I think that's, that's why it works. And then Teresa, we got to talk like Teresa is the hair oh, hair piece, hair piece queen. Yeah. I mean, oh. I love hair pieces. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I'm going to be working closely with Teresa. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> Jess, where's Jess? Let's bring Jess in. I forgot. We got to bring Jess in. You guys are bringing Jess in. You can find her on Instagram at Hair Loss Girl Boss. Hi, Jess. Hi, I'm back. Hopefully, I won't freeze this time. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Show us your incarnation of the voltage wig, please. So I'm kind of somewhere between the sleek and the volume, but it's just a really fun, easy cut to play around with. Uh huh. Bangs because you can kind of pull them down more, but yeah. I usually like the deep 
sideswept. Yeah. And see, you know, Jess, you're wearing it a little, yeah, you're wearing a little sheet with the side sweep. You're doing it, you're bringing a little something different to it than we're showing today. But it's lovely to see the versatility. And that's why I love seeing it on you girls all the time. And I love seeing what you post and how you wear things differently because it isn't hair in general, whether it's a wig, whether it's a bio hair, what, you know, it's it's an expression, isn't of it? Course. Of, of who we are and how we share. It's fashion, you yeah. know. Like I say, we I waited a long time yeah. for wigs to come back to being a fashion accessory. Yeah. And now wigs are the biggest fashion yeah. story. And um, by the way, Jess, I've never really seen you with short hair. You look very gorgeous. No. I love this dress, Jess. Yeah. Is Wait. it a dress or a top? It looks fun. Thank you. But yeah. talking about being fashion, yeah. I will plan my outfits around which wig I want to wear that day. So that's uh -huh. what I like. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally fun. Yeah. You want to know something? That's what we do with Raquel with the photo shoot. We decide <laughs> what wig we're going to wear, and then we decide what outfit we're going to put on with the wig. So it's 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 all complete thing, right? It's how we present ourselves. It's how we feel good and how we how we make it work. So, but that's what you do. Jess, can you do a little spin for us? I just kind of want to see like the back portion of it. Yeah, yeah. see, look, she's got it worn just a little texture, not too much, not too flared out. Um, it's great. just enough. Yeah. Great. Yeah, six color. different looking girls, all gorgeous, but you've made the wigs your own and fantastic. And the color, Jess, you were going to say? Uh, shaded iced mocha. Very nice. How do you say it? Mocha. Mocha. <laughs> <laughs> no mocha. mocha. No, well, I'm plus I'm Welsh as well. So my yeah. Yeah, we think it's good. They're probably looking, listening to us in the UK going, look at how those Americans speak. Terrible. All right. Jess, thank you for showing us that. We'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye, Jess. <laughs> um, really quick, Anna Jones wants to know, do you think it's just it's just as good to store the wings in a box as you would a wig stand? Right. Personally, if you've got room and your wig is, I love it on a head. But remember the dust aspect. So if your wig is out, it's going to collect dust. If you do put a little um, scarf over yeah, it. Yeah. But um, in the box is great too, because you've got a lot of wigs. The, the yeah. box is, here you go, my darling. Was it Anna? I'm oh, sorry, you speaking. Yeah, Anna. The Raquel Welsh uh, packaging is out to this world. It's a beautiful shoe box. This is for the long wig. Yeah, long so these are great to stock up and yeah. to store as well. But if you got a head, or it's a, bad. Or even a styrofoam head. I mean, you can get those yeah. at the beauty supply stores. I always think the curved shape is always better than laying flat. So think about yeah. that, Anna. But remember, right, guys, best. we are saving. You guys, okay, our 12 Days of Raquel is going to culminate in this beautiful wig, okay? Again, go to Raquel Welch Wigs on Facebook. Go to Raquel Welch Wigs on Instagram. You can enter to win what we are so proud to present. I mean, wow. Yeah, we not. Our last week of the 12 is high fashion. Let's show you high fashion. High fashion is from our Raquel Welch Couture Wig Line. It is the most supple, the most gorgeous, the most glamorous of the human hair wigs that you can possibly get. Yeah. And I, I said it. It's worth getting just because of the packaging. I, said, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this box, I keep my jewelry in this box. It, the box is out of this world. I love white and gold. So it, this is deluxe. I am um, wore this, not this. I've got um, I got the longer one. Yeah. Um, glamour and more. Yeah. We've designed the Raquel Couture collection for our serious wig wearers, okay? Women who are not just going through a temporary phase of hair loss, but someone who, you know, has alopecia totalis. Somebody who is, you know, just struggling with ultra fine hair and breakage. Um, and you're, you're saying, I'm going to wear a wig and I, I want a high quality human hair wig. The Raquel Couture Collection is for you. Let me tell you why, based on the construction, okay? This is designed to give you the utmost insecurity um, and, and confidence. Because of the silicone that is built into this cap, this is going to adhere to your head. And also the heat from your head is going to make it almost kind of make a mold, right? So this has... French lace, right? Swiss lace all across the front. Okay, so very light, all individually tied hairs. And then you have a completely uh, hand tied top on this, but it's not just a regular top. It is done with a um, French drawn top. So what that means is we do three layers of silk and you will not see a knot in this. 
A lot of mono, a lot of hand tied wigs, you will see the knots because we tie it into the actual monofilament. With this, you don't see that because it looks just like skin. The knots are actually under the silk layer, okay? Then we go into the, the, the body of the cap, which is hand tied all throughout, hand tied into the nape, and then you have silicone nape, silicone ear tabs for extra grip, for extra security, okay? So this is the couture cap, and then you have like adhesion points throughout that give you extra security with silicone in there as well. I know it's a lot, know it's a mouthful, but to understand the cap on this is to understand what you're really getting, right? Well, I mean, we could do a whole, a whole Facebook show. live just on our human hair, hair collection. So this is high fashion, okay? I'm showing it in the H29S Plus. This is the glazed hazelnut. You can see that these colors come highlighted and low lighted in the human hair already. Kyle has the Chardonnay, that's the Chardonnay. Okay. It has a bit of a root. Yeah. Um, and then you have the, the blonde color. These can all be low lighted with semi-permanent hair color, with demi-permanent hair color. You can deposit a root if you want to do a root. You can create ombre tones with it. So think of this as anything, if you are a hairdresser, anything you can do in a salon, you can do with this because oh. of the high quality of this human hair. This okay. hair is like butter. Now we've been, a lot of people, I have had this wig for a good few years. Frank, you custom colored it for me. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, this, I started off with mine in the Chardonnay color and then you put, you, yeah. you change it up into my own hair color. Yeah. Um, basically guys, there's gonna be wigs out there. Well, I can get human hair wigs a lot cheaper. It's not human hair. That's another whole hour we can talk about. <laughs> We're gonna go. We're not getting human hair. We're gonna go into that. Our hair yeah. is, is, is the most deluxe. It's the top quality, um, ethically sourced Remy hair. It is out of this world. It's like butter. Yes. And I wanna say something about that because I think people sometimes don't really understand. They, they just feel the hair and say, oh, well, it feels good. So it must be good. <laughs> But there are a lot of people out there who are doing shady business practices who coat the hair in silicone. So when you feel it, you just think, oh, it's just, it feels so beautiful. It's got to be great quality. You shampoo it once or twice and it just, right? Coarse. Yeah, coarse. We yeah, have CO in our, um, is our human hair expert. Yes, yeah, Ciamara. Ciamara, she's brilliant. She showed me, she washed three or four mm -hmm. elite other uh, human hair wigs out there. <laughs> yeah. And on the third wash, we tested, there was no human hair. Wig. No, like one <laughs> strand. One, I think that was right. One wicked. Yeah, one like, wicked strand. So, we we do the test of we hair you wear, don't we? Yes, we certify all of our hair. No one else in the industry wants to join us in doing that, so we certify our own, just so you know what you're getting. Um, we would like everyone to join us, but people don't want to do that for some strange reason. So. Well, I think what we're battling, you know, there's so much on social media. We've all done it. You buy clothes. You can buy a fabulous dress yeah. on social media. It's yeah. not what you get. Wigs are the same. Come on, guys, use your head. You know, you're, not, you're never going to have a cashmere or a puna silk jumper True that's $10. True that. So just think of that analogy. Yes. So you guys, Susan wants to know, when you have a mono top, do you need to do any trimming to the lace front? I'm going to say, Susan, we do the lace front. The lace front exists separate from the mono top. Okay, so one of the things I want you to be aware of is we do put a lace front on these. We give you some room, and if it starts to fray as you wear it with time, you can trim it back a little bit with some pinking shears. So keep that in mind. You don't ever, you never want to trim into the actual mono top. Um, you know, um, you were going to put this on, weren't you? And I wanted to see that on you a little bit. Well, yeah. Uh, to, Alexis is going to wear it too. Alexis, like, get it on. Alexis. Yeah, because I don't think we've got time, but. Um... Just to say, look at my social media. I got a glamour and more. I have this. Yes. And I put this on because I'm trying to give my hair a break. Trust me, I know you might think with the price point, but it's a wig that you're going to have for life. I always say this is like the Ferrari. Oh, yeah. This is an investment. It's an investment price. Right. Yeah. Alexis. Where are you? Mom. Yes. <laughs> look at that. Alexis, this is just that. stunning, 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 stunning. Beautiful wig. Which color are you wearing, hon? SS Cappuccino. Love it. Love it. Is this the first time you've worn a couture wig? Yes, this is my first time I've ever worn a human hair wig. It's just so comfortable, so soft, light. It's everything uh, you want in a wig. 
Alexis, you know what I would love for you to do for us if you don't mind? Can you lean forward into the camera so we could see the top? Because I think I really want people to see and understand that there's no knots visible, that all you're going to get is the look of scalp. I don't know if it even shows on my camera, but. Let me add to that, Frank. Um, I have dark, dark hair and I'm wearing a dark wig cap. And yeah. I'm just going to show you this looks like scalp. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you can see it. I mean, it just totally, no matter where you part it, you're going to see that beautiful scalp, you know, looking hairline. I mean, it's just, look at that. Unbelievable. It is. And, you know, we have our girls of color. They'll put in a little powder in there. They'll put in a little concealer to match their skin tone. Feel free to do that. And I always tell people, if you're darker or lighter, depending on the lace color, you can always put a little makeup, put a little powder on there to match your particular skin oh, tone. Alexis, imagine what you can do with that, with your curling and updos. And, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes, hey. for sure. <laughs> I know. Really stunning. Like I say, um, really for, if you're, um, we, we, a lot of girls with no hair at yes. all. This is just absolutely yes. beautiful. And you know what? I, I, I'm going to say it. This wig has a retail value of $2,800 plus, and we are giving it away for our 12 days of Raquel. So people, do not hesitate to go on Facebook at Raquel Welch, you know, and, and, and also Instagram at Raquel Welch Wigs, and get on this, because this is going to be one of the ones we offer later on in the month, um, and you really should, you really should get on this, because it is, a, who's going to give this away? It's stunning. Absolutely Come on. stunning. And then remember, for our 50 years uh, celebration of Hagi where you dyed this shocking pink and it was gorgeous. I did it in the pink, yeah. Remember? Yeah, so I used like pink hair dye in this and turned the swing pink and it just looked absolutely stunning. So you can do that if you want to get into fantasy colors, if you want to get into creative coloring techniques. The Rock Hill Watch Couture Collection is stunning. It's stunning. Alexis, I mean... I don't know how much work you put into that, but that looks like you have the most beautiful, gorgeous bio hair. <laughs> Alexis ever. is spinning and flicking. <laughs> oh, my oh, I guess all I did was round brush, just the very top, just so I could get the movement to go away from my face. So yeah. I get this nice little swoop. But yeah. that's all I did. All I did was this little section right here, round brush back. Yeah, which is what I did too with this. I just kind of smoothed it out. I mean, honestly, this pretty much came out of the box. I just kind of brushed the the front back a little bit so it could be worn off the face but i mean you mm -hmm. guys this is really beautiful hair and again if you are someone who is committed to wearing wigs and you want something that you know is going to last you a long time i mean you know what you can do is wear like a mesmerized during the week and then but then you have a party to go to you have somewhere to go to yeah. then pull out your human hair wig you know Absolutely. Yeah. really stunning um this is a great color base blonde this is the chardonnay by the way if you've just tuned in this is 100 percent human hair and it's got just a very slight yeah. uh, smudged root to it. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. I'm telling you, Alexis, I, you are, that's, that's the money, honey. Look at that. She's right. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the thing, more important, right? Because people are going to want to know this. Do you, do you feel a difference? Like when you wear that, do you feel different about it than you do oh, about yes. it? I sure do. Just the way the lace front feels, it feels like it just hugs my forehead and it's like nice and soft. It's a different, it really is a different feeling. Yeah. And are, I have to ask, are you an average cap pretty much cap size or are you, you are? And it fits you pretty good? Yes. It feels very comfortable. It does not feel tight. It does not feel loose. It kind of feels like it adjusts, it adjusts to my head. Right. And because what we recommend to people is like that they put it on and they roll it on, that you actually press it on and roll it back over your head rather than like a stretch cap. Because as you know, this is this is like a silicone skeleton that we built into here. Right. So it's not going to stretch and give as much as a, a as weft. A weft yeah. wig, right. So but it will. It will get on. Because yeah. I mean, I've got it to get on. But, you know, if you've got a lot of hair, I would braid your hair back like as you would if you where you wear your normal wigs. Yeah. But they also look at this silicone, this anti-slip is beautiful. Yeah. We got a lot of frames. I'm not gonna lie, at first it did feel different. It felt a little tight, but once it was on, it just adjusted to my head and it just felt very comfortable. Yeah. 
It does, the heat from your head also relaxes the silicone. And that's what people don't realize. You have to wear it a while for it to kind of like mold and stretch and give a little bit. It's like a pair of jeans. Mm -hmm. You know, when you wear your jeans, like you could take them out of the wash and you're like, okay, did I gain weight? You're like, what the hell is going on? And then like, right? then like a couple yeah. minutes later, it's like, okay, they're, they're settling in. That's how this is. And if you don't know that, you're kind of like shocked by it. Also what I tell people, mm -hmm is if you find that you don't necessarily want all the hold that the silicone offers, give this just a light dusting of talcum powder um, or cornstarch or something of that, and it will release the grip of the silicone, okay? So that's it, my yeah. friends. We've got some very famous people who wear this weekend. You oh, yeah, we never do. know. You never know. Never, never, never ever know, because as you say, it can be colored and customized to exactly yeah. do what you want. It's like a very Donatella Versace. Very. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Alexis, thank you. I'm going to bring all of our girls back at the end here. Yeah. Right? So I want to tell you guys, don't forget. You've got to get on. You've got to check out our, our website on Facebook. Go to Raquel Watch. Raquel Watch. And go to Raquel Watch Wigs on Instagram. And all of these wigs throughout the month of December are going to be offered via these wonderful channels. So just be answering some prompts, we'll ask you some questions. And we want to know, we want to hear from you. And just by doing that, we will be announcing the winners. Every day that you see a wig um, being shown during the month, the winner will be announced the following day. So just keep your eyes peeled the following day to see if you've won, right? Absolutely, a brilliant, absolutely amazing deal. Get involved, give us your comments. Uh, if you've never worn a wig before, it's time to start. And uh, what a fantastic show. I know. Where are all our girls? All our girls here. I see Jess. I see Amber. I see Sarah and Christina and Alexis. Girls, we could not have done this without you. I want to say, well, I want to say thank you so much for being a part of us, for always giving your honest reviews and, and for sharing your experience with the Raquel Welch Wig Collection with your viewers and everybody who you know looks to you for inspiration, for advice, um, and to kind of normalize what can sometimes be a very difficult situation. Yes, right? yeah. yeah, you really opened my eyes, girls. And I want to get not just the girls in the show today, but all the girls we've you, used over the years. You all know who you are. And um, yeah, and thanks to everybody who's been watching as well, our viewers. Yeah, I'm gonna you girls, I wanna let's give you all just one last thing to say. So I want you guys to all have a voice because I really appreciate you doing this today. Jess, any last parting words, my dear? Um, I just wanna say thanks for having me back again this year. This is always so much fun. All of these women are just so amazing. I love following them on Instagram. Maybe someday we'll all get together in person. <laughs> um, Frank and Kyle, it's great to see you both together. Maybe we can join you next year, um, yes. but I hope Great holiday and enter to win these gorgeous wigs. Thank you, Jess. Miss Amber, what do you got to say, my dear? Um, thank you guys so much for having us all on this live. It's been a joy um, last year and this year. Um, uh, enter to win, everyone. Uh, happy holidays. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> what do you got to say, Miss Sarah, over there? <laughs> well, I would just like to say thank you for all the kindness and uh, the um, open arms that this community gives to all of us. It is, um, a, a, like you said, a scary thing sometimes. And I think that um, having a place that's safe, having um, on social media kindness, which is um, not something that we find very often, and the support, encouragement, and the freedom to just do you, regardless of what anyone thinks, uh, regardless of your age, regardless of your anything, I think is just amazing that not only, you know, Raquel Welch and, and all of you guys that, that represent and support, um, just cheers to all of you to another year um, of being who we are and making a statement. Thank you so much. Yes. Miss Erin. You know what? I just want to thank everybody, not only here, but everybody watching for allowing me and for the rest of us to be part of your journey. It has been such an incredible experience connecting with so many of you. Thank you to Raquel Welch and Harry Ware and Frank and Kyle for having us tonight. And I agree with you, Jess, getting all of us together would be a blast. I'm not sure yes. who would use more words. Um, that would be <laughs> fun. But I'm up for the challenge and I want to wish everybody a happy, happy holidays. Enjoy time with your friends and your family and uh, thanks. And, and yes, get involved. 
these giveaways are incredible. Yes, Thanks. Thank you, Karen. Christina, our newbie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm just so excited to join, like, what a cast of, like, beautiful, incredible, kind-hearted women, and you two, you guys have been such a blast, and I couldn't be more excited to join you all on this um, live tonight and join the co-stars, but, I mean, the women at home, I feel like Aaron kind of touched on it, you know, being able to be a part of each other's journeys, like, I looked up to so many of you women when I first started wearing wigs. And it was so cathartic to me. And so it's a little surreal feeling, you know, getting messages from other women who say that I do that for them because I don't, I'm still looking to these beautiful women for, for support. So um, I'm just so excited to join you all. And I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday and get some of these beautiful wigs. My goodness, they are the best. Oh, thank you. Miss Alexis, last but definitely not least. <laughs> I just want to wish everybody all the luck at the, give at the giveaways. It's so much fun seeing all these beautiful wigs and seeing them on everybody. I just have a blast every time we do these lives. And thank you for having me here. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have all of you. I know Kyle and I just feel really a debt of gratitude to all of you and a debt of gratitude to everybody who is watching. I know we're approaching the holidays now, and we, you may see us or you may not before December. What, 24? <laughs> yeah. But um, wishing you all a very happy holiday. Yeah. Season. And me, it just uh, thanks for everybody, especially in Europe who's watched. Now I'm over here and great to see you all. And I just want to thank everybody backstage too for mm -hmm. putting this together. So everybody at Hair You Wear, our team is amazing. This has taken Chris. <laughs> this has been a nightmare to walk out of Thanks to everybody back. I say backstage, you know, everybody at Hair You Wear as well. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again. Thank you. Well, Happy holidays. Entering. You got a whole month, people. You got a whole month of yeah. enemies. And Save let this. us know what you've got. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.